welcome, welcome back, back to another, another book review. I'm Carson and I'm 11 years old. I'm Aiden and 9 years old. And together, we're the Bower Book Reviewers. We made this channel because we want to share our love for reading and writing with children like us. We'd like to thank everybody for watching our last video and subscribing to our channel. And we're really enjoying the feedback you guys are giving to us. If you haven't seen our last videos, make sure you catch up on them on our channel page. And, and the theme, theme for this week is... <laughs> classics! I'll be reviewing Wonder, and I would classify this as a classic, a little bit of alliteration there. Um, because even though it's quite new, it gives a really good life lesson. And the motto is, you can't blend in when you were born to stand out. And I would definitely read this before you see the film. And I'll be reviewing The Diary of Anne Frank. This is about a Jewish girl who lives in Germany and it's during a war. I don't think it was World War Two or World War One, but it was one of the lesser wars. But um, she's forced into hiding and you just see what she has to go through in that time. Yeah, I would definitely classify that as a classic. Yeah. Now we're going to make room for Avon, who's going to be reviewing her book. I'd be delighted. Avon back and I'll be reviewing Wanda as I said and you guys must already know that the title of this book is Wanda. The author of this book is RJ Palacio. Palacio? I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that wrong but you guys have a little look for yourself and tell me in the comments whether I'm pronouncing it wrong or not because I really don't know. And um, as I say this book I think is a classic because even though it's quite new and it's set in modern times and it was published around, um, I think 2012 it was published, but I, I don't know, I, there, there was said to be an original copy of this and someone just remade it and it's a really good book to read. The age rating for this book, I think it's 9 to, no, 9 plus actually, yeah, I think it's 9 plus because anyone under 8 I don't think would really enjoy the book. Um, Anyone under nine wouldn't really enjoy the book. And the genre is drama. This book is full of drama. Has a little bit of comedy. It's it, it sometimes it makes you laugh out loud. And other books by the author are right here. Also available, Orgy and Me. Three Wonder Stories. And there's another one at the back. 365 Days of Wonder. And if you didn't know, 365 days makes a year. Kind of think the plot about this book is basically the motto. You're, um, you can't blend in when you're born to stand out. If you didn't know Wanda, he doesn't fit in very well. I'll mention that later. But he has to learn to just get over it, get on with life. And just act like a normal boy, even though things are a lot harder for him than in real life. And... A short summary of the characters, we've got August, or Augie as his family call him, the main character, Olivia, or a short Via, um, that is August's sister, Nate, which is their dad, and Isabel, and, um, which is August's mum, and their last name is Pullman, and um, there, there are some other friends that I'll tell you about along the way. I will be giving a taste of this book, but if any of you guys want to know, um, the syndrome that he has is Treacher Collins syndrome. I think that's how you say it anyways. Um, so this is what he has, and it's a face disorder. Um, so I'll be reading you the taster. His eyes are about an inch below where they should be on his face, almost halfway down his cheeks. They slant downward at, a, at an extreme angle, almost like diagonal slit, slits that someone cut into his face. And, they, and the left one is noticeably lower than the right one. They bulge outward because his eye cavities are too shallow to accommodate them. The top eyelids are always halfway closed like he's on the verge of sleeping. The, the lower eyelids sag so much they almost look like a piece of invisible string is pulling them downwards. You can see re the red part on the inside like they're almost inside out. He doesn't have eyebrows or eyelashes. His nose is dis 
proportionately big for his face and kind of fleshy. His head is pinched, pinched in on the sides where his ears should be, like someone used giant pliers and crushed the middle part of his face. He doesn't have cheekbones. There are deep creases running down both sides of his nose to his mouth, which, give him, which gives him a waxy appearance. Sometimes people assume he'd been burned in a fire. His features look like they're melted by the drippings on the side of a candle. Several surger surgeries to correct his lips have left a few scars on his mouth. The most notable, the most notable one being a jagged gash run running from the middle of his upper lip to his nose. You can obviously find some online reviews about this book, um, but I think what I think about it, um, it's a really good book. And as I said before, nine pluses, I think this should be readable for. And it has lots of drama, you're not expecting that. But if you did what I did and watched the movie, um, I watched a movie at my auntie's house. If you did what I did and skipped straight to the movie without knowing there was a book, it's not as exciting. But I have a feeling this is going to be super exciting for anyone who's just coming in. Thank you for listening to my review of Wanda. Um, links will be in the description if you want to get it. And we're going to welcome in my sister, Kirsten. Thank you, Amy, for your fantastic review. And now, I'm going to be reviewing, as I said before, the diary of Anne Frank. Anne Frank is set in 1942, which is when she first received her diary on her 13th birthday. Of course, it's written by Anne Frank, but was edited by her father. And this book has no illustrations, only pictures of the characters, which I'm going to show you now. This picture here is Margot Anne and Anne's father. This picture here is Anne and her friend. This picture here is Anne. This one here is Anne's father and this is Anne's, Anne's mother. I think the genre of this book is, well it's of course real life, but it's quite a melancholy, melancholy tale because Lots of bad things happen to Anne, and in the end, she sadly passes away. And her father is the only survivor who goes on to edit her story. And I think the age rating for this book is maybe 11 plus, just because um, it's really hard. The style of writing is really hard, and since it was written so long ago, it's really hard to follow up on it. And I had a struggle to read this book. Now I'm going to read you a taster of the book. 12th of June, 1942. I hope I will be able to confide everything to you, as I have never been able to confide in anyone, and I hope you will be a great source of comfort and support. Sunday, 14th of June, 1942. I'll begin from the moment I got you, the moment I saw you lying on the table among my other birthday presents. I went along when you were bought, but that doesn't count. On Friday, 12th of June, I was awake at 6 o'clock, which isn't surprising since it was my birthday. But I'm not allowed to get up at that hour, so I had to control my curiosity until quarter to seven. When I couldn't wait any longer, I went to the dining room, where Mortage, the cat, welcomed me by rubbing against my legs. A little after seven, I went to Daddy and Mummy, and then to the living room to open my presents, and you were the thing I saw. Maybe one of my nicest presents. And a bouquet of roses, some peonies, and a potted plant. From Daddy and Mummy, I got a blue blouse, a game, a bottle of grape juice, which to my mind tastes a bit like wine. After all, wine is made from grapes. A puzzle, a jar of cold cream, two, fi two fifty guilders, and a gift token for two books. I got another book as well, Camera Obscura. But Margaret already has it, so I exchanged mine for something else. A plate of homemade biscuits, which I made myself, of course, since I've been, become quite an expert in making biscuits. Lots of sweets and a strawberry tart from Mother. And a letter from Granny right on time. But of course, that was just a coincidence. 
So that was a bit about the taster. As you can see, it's really hard book to follow. Even for me reading that, it was a struggle because there's lots of difficult words and the style is just so hard to get through. That's why I said 11 plus. But I like this book just because since I've been learning a bit about war, I can kind of relate to it. Like I can relate to other books about the war. And well, it is a good book, but it is quite hard to read. So if you're gonna buy this, um, be prepared for a tough read. Well, Carson, that was a fantastic review. Why, thank you, Raven. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna be heading. We're, we're, we're heading on to the malls, and um, I picked a mall that I really, that I think is a really strong one. And it's um, actually I'm gonna say to don't judge a book by its cover. Something may look bad, but in the inside, it's really good. And um, there's another one. Always be brave, stand up, and don't give in to bullying. Just stand out, be yourself. Bullying is bad. <laughs> I have quite a few morals for my book. I'm going to read out the titles of the morals, then I'm just going to read an extract of one moral. So... The first one is importance of perspective. Perspective. The next one is importance of honesty and bluntness. But not too much bluntness. And the last one is importance of self-awareness. Um, I'm just going to read a short extract of the importance of perspective. For the duration of the plumber's visit, prefer preserving jars were put in into surface during the daytime to hold our calls, calls of nature. As far as I was concerned, this wasn't half as difficult as having to sit still all day and not say a word. You can imagine how hard that was for Miss Quack Quack Quack. On ordinary days, we have to speak in a whisper. Not being able to walk, to talk or move at all is ten times worse. So it's just saying that, of, of course she's referring to someone else who she calls Miss Quack Quack Quack. But it's saying her situation is much more better than some others, so she's been grateful for that. The best part of the book for me, I didn't actually mention this in um, the short plot of the book, but it's just kind of, you have to learn to get over things, move on from it, because I'm not going to spoil it too much if you guys want to read the book. At one time, August, the main character, he got backstabbed. I'm not going to say by who. Not literally backstabbed. Yeah, like not of course not but in like a friend way and he just had to learn to get over it and it's all fixed up and yeah the, the problem's fixed and solved i think the best part of mine was when she went into hiding when she was hiding from all the german soldiers yeah. because it's just such an interesting bit of the book and even though i haven't read all of it i have read some little parts and heard lots about the book and it's just interesting to see how she has to cope yeah, so these are the, like the little books, the books. These are little bits we'd rather read. Uh, we'd like to read in our book, in this book. But of course, it's good to read the whole book, not just like pick out little bits. But we w we really enjoy these bits of the book. If you want to buy these books, make sure you click on the links down below in the description. And please also comment down below what books you'd like us re to review, or if there's a specific author you'd like us to talk about. Also, make sure you like, subscribe and click that bell so you can be notified every time we do a new video. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye! Hey guys! Welcome back to another book review.